Back in the late Middle Ages, they came up with this concept of venery. It started somewhere in France in about the 14th century, and it seems that the wealthy hunters wanted new ways to name their game. Possibly in wild hopes that they might improve their aim. The tradition caught on with others, and the game had started to spread. So instead of just saying, there's a group of critters, I call them this instead. A group of buffalo is an obstinacy. Kangaroos are moths. Elk form gangs, snakes make nests, and dolphins swim in ponds. Monkeys come in barrels. Pigs, they love their passes. Goldfish are troubling, but they're really not a hassle. Woodpeckers are in a descent, and there's a nice bouquet of pheasants. The starlings dance in murmurations with more than one present. Bullfinches like to bellow, and peacocks have their ostentations. The geese, they tend to gaggle, and the eagles meet in convocations. There's a conspiracy for those lemurs around the murder of the crows. And while guinea fowl are confusion, try to untie a knot of toes. Jaguars move in shadows, lions have their pride, buzzers hold awake, porcupines prickle, and bees, they live in hives. Bats are found in cauldrons, and cobras coil in the quiver. Wolves, they hunt in packs, sharks, they make you shiver. Foxes skull, donkeys follow pace, and crowds of their consortiums. Owls hold a parliament, and cockroaches are an intrusion. Litters are for kittens. Cats, they come in clouders. Clams are found lying in beds, but are much better at chowders. Most fish go to school, but trout just like to hover. While nightingales tend to watch, coots they have to cover. Ferrets are a business. Baboons are a congress. Neither are much good at making any progress. Apes, they come in shrewdness. Upon a slaw bears. Tigers are an ambush, and they're lurking everywhere. Parrots are a pandemonium, and there's a thunder of hippopotamuses. Hyenas like to cackle at the crash of rhinoceroses. Armies are for caterpillars, herring, frogs, and ants, and there are many tribes of goats. The parades are for elephants. Platypi are in a puddle. Gators form in congregations. Cheetahs have coalitions, wombats whistle, and slarks sing an exultation. It's quite a labor for the moles and giraffes, they form a tower. And while grasshoppers come in a cloud, there's a maelstrom of salamanders. Ducks fly in a flock, but they're a raft if they're on water, and though leopards like to leap, to get a romp, you need some otters. Squirrels know how to scurry. Rabbits form their warrens, have a gulp of cormorants, kettle of hawks, or try a siege of herons. It's a pity for turtle doves and gorillas form a band. There's a kaleidoscope of butterflies and flamingos like to stand. There's a flock of sheep, jellyfish bloom, and martins have their richness. While ravens are known for unkindness, who wouldn't love a charm of finches? Penguins live in colonies, whales are in their cubbies. Jays throw parties, weasels sneak, and swans, they have their bevies. Snails have hooves, lobsters are a risk, and zebras do have zeal. Just remember, all these critters are more than just for meals. That's what I know about venery. And I hope you like what I did, because I'll never get a round of applause from an audience as quick.